This is an entry one functional skills math paper from NCFE. It's split into two parts. In the first part, you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part, activity one. Buying school uniform. Rosie and her mum go shopping. Rosie and her mum go shopping for a new school uniform. Rosie chooses the longer skirt. Which skirt does she choose? Tick your answer. So looking at these, the longest one is B. So the correct option is B. The rest of them are shorter. Rosie and her mum buy one shirt and one pair of tights. The shirt costs £13 and the tights £4. How much do they spend in total? So it's 13 and 4. 3 and 4 is 7. 1 and 0 is 1. So £17. Pounds. If you found this difficult, you could start from 13 and go up by one pound each time. So you'd have 14, 15, 16, 17. It's four of them. So 17 would be the answer. Rosie and her mum buy some shoes. They pay with a £20 note. Tick the £20 note. So this one is £5, this one is 10 this one is £20. As you can see. Rosie and her mum buy a blazer and a tie. Blazer £15, tie £4. How do they work out the total price? Tick your answer. So it's 15 and 4. So option A, 15 plus 4, that's the correct one. The rest of them are not correct. The rest of the options. Rosie and her mum buy a pack of socks for £11. Write 11 in words. Eleven. This is the end of the first part. This is the second part of the paper. You can use a calculator from now on. Acting PE kit. Rosie and her mum order PE kit online. Rosie and her mum look at PE kit online. This is a list of the items they need to buy. So shopping list: shorts six pounds, t-shirt eight pounds. Socks four pounds, jumper eleven pounds, tracksuit twelve pounds. What is the price of the t shirt? So, t shirt eight pounds. Rosie and her mum order the items on Wednesday. They will arrive in two days. Rosie thinks the items will arrive on Thursday. Is she correct? Give a reason for your answer. So from Wednesday, one day after, it will be Thursday, and then two days after, it will be Friday. So, Rosie is not correct. So no, it's Friday. Rosie and her mum receive parcels in the post. Rosie looks at the clock when the parcels arrive. What time do the parcels arrive? So looking at the shorthand, that is at two. So at two o'clock. You could just write two and it will be fine. One of the parcels is a cube. Which of these shapes is a cube? Tick your answer. So a cube has all equal faces. So looking at the first one, that's a cuboid because this length, for example, is longer than this one. So this face is longer than this. 
B is also a cuboid, as you can see. C is a cube. It looks like a nice cube. D is a cuboid. So the correct option is C. The tracksuit is in the widest parcel. Which parcel is the tracksuit in? Tick your answer. So which one of these is the widest? That looks like B. The rest of them are narrower. Activity three, buying stationery. Rosie and her mum go shopping for stationery. Rosie wants to buy a pencil sharpener with two holes. Tick all of the pencil sharpeners she could buy. So looking at pencil sharpeners with two holes. So we've got this one. got this one and there are no more so just these two other ones that she could buy Rosie looks for the pens the pens are in the box above the pencils tick the box with the pens in so we're looking at the box above the pencils so above that is this one that's above the pencils Rosie and her mum look at pencil cases Rosie buys the largest pencil case which pencil case does Rosie buy tick your answer so the largest of them all is this one so option D. The rest of the pencil cases are smaller than that one. Rosie uses a five pound note to buy the pencil case. The price of the pencil case is three pounds. How much money does Rosie have left over? So we're going to take away three from the five. So five take away three if you do this using a calculator you get two so that is two pounds we need to specify because it could be two pence as well if it was a different question rosie puts these items in her pencil case how many items does she put in her pencil case so we're going to count them got one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Activity 4, first day at school. Rosie goes to school. Rosie starts school at 9 o'clock. Which clock shows 9 o'clock? Take your answer. So, focusing on the short hand we've got option a that is four o'clock option b eight o'clock option c seven o'clock and option d is nine o'clock so option d is the correct one rosie draws a block chart to show how her friends traveled to school nine friends walk to school Four friends get the bus. Three friends go by car. Complete the block chart. So we given this bar for friends who walk to school. So this is done already. Now we need to go and draw a bar for four friends that get the bus so bus we need to go up to four
when you do it on paper it's going to look much better because you can use a ruler this isn't perfect on the screen now let's represent how many friends go to school by car that is three friends so we're going to go up to three You could colour in the bars if you like, or you could leave them as they are. Rosie takes three tests. Each test has 20 questions. These are her scores. Spelling, 16. Maths, 15. Art, 18. In which test does Rosie get the highest score? So which number is highest out of 16, 15 and 18? That would be 18, because if you start counting from 15, the next one will be 16, 17 and then 18. So in which test does Rosie get the highest score? The answer would be art. Rosie draws a poster showing all of the seasons in a year. How many seasons are on the poster? So all of the seasons, there are four seasons in a year. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. You don't need to specify them, but you just need to write four. Rosie puts her poster on the shortest stand. Which stand does she put her poster on? Tick your answer. So the shortest of them all is this one, D. The rest of them are taller. And this is the end of the paper.